Hay una bebida tradicional por excelencia que los verdaderos neoyorquinos saben que no se puede embotellar. Y es la crema de huevo. La clásica crema de huevo con chocolate. Que no lleva ni huevo ni crema. Ha sido una bebida dulce y efervescente que se vendía en las tiendas de refrescos y bodegas de Nueva York durante más de un siglo. Y James Pa, una bodega histórica de Nueva York ubicada en el corazón de East Village, intenta mantener viva la tradición de la crema de huevo, a pesar de que las ventas han disminuido con los años. I have never had egg cream before, so I'm excited to see how it's made. Let's go. My family's owned this for 33 years, but it's been around for 100 years. There's a lot of history uh, with Gem Spa in the East Village. People consider it to be the anchor of the neighborhood. They consider it to be one of the last uh, old school stores left in the area. Most of the stores have kind of modernized or gentrified, and we still have the old school touch. It's had a lot of big names walk through, a lot of celebrities, a lot of artwork has been created around it. One of the most prominent artworks that has been created is called Gem Spa, a painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Hoy en día la bodega pan rockera corre riesgo de cierre, tras perder sus licencias de lotería y venta de cigarrillos. Está luchando para poder pagar el alquiler en una zona privilegiada de Nueva York. We kind of had to reinvent ourselves and uh, focus on what we've been known for all these years, and that is the egg cream, and that kind of distinguishes us, and we're considered to be the best. Incluso lanzaron una cuenta de Instagram en abril de este año llamada La Mejor Crema de Huevo, para que la gente entendiera que no hay otra igual. I came in the gym spa because uh, when I was a little lad, my dad used to take me to gym spa way back when. They, they just have a feel about it. They use the right ingredients, they have the right combination of stuff. It's a, it's a simple recipe, but so many people get it wrong. There are three ingredients in an egg cream, and uh, surprisingly, there are many ways to screw it up. <laughs> the egg cream is made with frozen milk, seltzer, and syrup, so it's very important that the milk and the syrup be rich. So we make it a point to use Ubet syrup, and any traditional old school egg cream drinker is gonna tell you it's not an egg cream unless you use Ubet. There's a reason we have this reputation for having the best egg creams. We have a process. It's only three ingredients. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. It sounds, sounds simple, but you said there's a technique, so. <laughs> We're gonna show you the right way. Okay. Here we go. You're gonna take some frozen milk. Is completely frozen, frozen or semi-frozen? Semi-frozen. Okay. It has milk, it has some chunks. Frozen chunks. They are frozen chunks, not any you other sorts it. of kinds. So you're going to pour about a quarter cup of milk right up to here. Oh. There it's we chunky. go. And it's some okay. chocolate syrup. And you're going to give it one big squirt. And okay. I'm going to tell you when to stop. That's it. How much salt are we going to uh, do? You're going to go up to about here because it's going to start bubbling. Okay. You don't want it to overflow. Try to hold the cup. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's bubbly. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Is this what happens next? You're not giving up on me, please. Nah, oh, that's the worst <laughs> egg cream I've ever seen. <laughs> well, you did a great job. I'm going to show you how we make it at Gem Spa. Okay. So first, we take some semi-frozen milk, and then we add our chocolate Ubet syrup. Then we add some seltzer, just like this. Perfectly frothy when you do it. This is our classic gem spy cream. Okay. This is more milkshake-ish to me. Yeah. And I do actually thoroughly enjoy it in chocolate. Awesome. Thank this you. That's the best way I think to have it. Thank you. Four months ago, I felt like it was dying out, and now there's this reinvigorated interest. We were selling in the spring about 200 a week, and that was a good week. And yesterday, we sold 65. I feel like that cream's coming back, and it's going to come back strong. I love that frothiness. I love everything frothy. Is that right? Yeah, you're good. It's pretty good. I'm just really, like, throwing the spoon around a lot, honestly. <laughs>